AOU tube. So I just want to make this video um, really quickly um, about um, feeling stuck. So when I was getting ready to turn 17, I was in Harmon House at St. John's Home. And um, it was a bitch because they had locked i had couldn't go to school anymore in the outside uh because every time i went to outside school i just skipped and got high with my friends or drunk or whatever you know did me and then came back and so i kept getting dropping dirty so they put me in the rehab there or whatever and um uh it was an on-campus rehab and so i was there and i was getting ready to leave there uh i had been because first of all i had a therapist when i first got to Harmon house she's like look i know you think that you are grown which i did feel like i've grown i've been doing what the fuck i want since i was like five years old like i'll get up and walk down the block and go chill with them kids and nobody will know where me and my brothers and sisters at all day like you know what i'm saying like i was out here as a kid in the streets chilling all the time like i ran my own life like that's it as far back as I can remember so by the time I made it into a foster home or a group home and they're talking to me like I'm a t child like tet, tet. so but she told me she's like you're not gonna be able to do shit this this state is not gonna let you just go do you um and you're gonna have to like just eat it and so I did. I was like, I eat those. That was my motto. I actually wrote that on my closet wall, I think, while I stayed there. Like, I eat those. And, um, you know, and she was like, you're going to have to go through this shit. But what you're going to do is you're going to rob them fucking blind right back. When you turn 18, you don't fucking leave the system. You stay in the system. You take every dollar they're giving you and you, and you roll with it for as long as you can. All the help they offer, any program you qualify for. If you have to go through this shit, make sure you get your money the fuck back out of it. And um, I was like, okay, you right, you right. And I ate those and I did feel like those that year and a half that I was there and they wouldn't even let me out of the home they were just trying to keep that program open they didn't want to close that rehab um and at the end of it like I met all your I did everything hands over flipped I met everything but then y'all want to start saying that you think that I'm low-key drinking and stuff when all these other kids broke cramp camp uh, and left the program y'all motherfuckers um all of a sudden then you're worried about me all of a sudden then like I need an intervention all of a sudden then I can't just graduate from the program like that's how evil motherfuckers really are that shit really happens um and I was really pissed and I felt really stuck because I had already been eating so much shit and doing everything and jumping every hoop and still you know what I'm saying going through this shit and um I kind of been feeling that way lately I really have and I had to sit down and I had to think about it like but what can I do now like my wheel might be turning and turning and turning and turning and turning and it might not be going nowhere but when it does break free I want to make sure I got all the motherfucking momentum I can to go far as I can and not get stuck on no more other shit so even if it feels like you're stuck like like me just keep utilizing everything you can for your own benefit so you got all the momentum that you can when you can take the fuck off have a good day, YouTube.